Hey folks, welcome back to another video in the series of DevOps project with GCP. My name is Ravish and I'm going to be the instructor throughout this course. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the tasks that we're going to achieve and a little about the prerequisites. All right. But before moving further in this video, I would like to request that kindly subscribe the channel because that would really support me to grow. All right. So let's dive right into the video. So the prerequisites to this course is you need to know a few things. Uh, the first one would be cloud source repository. Uh, second would be cloud build. Third would be build triggers. Fourth would be container registry and a very little uh, understanding of Python because we're going to use an application which is uh, Python based. Very little would be fine. You do not have to be a savant for that and a bit of familiarity with GCP. What I'll do is I'll try to cover up topics, these topics in a brief amount so that you can have an idea of, okay, this is what we're going to use and this will be helpful for you. All right, let's move on to the objective or the task that we're going to do. We're going to take several tasks. We'll divide it into seven to eight tasks to achieve this project. All right. So the first task would be create a Git repository. We're going to create, create a Git repository. We're going to post our content over there uh, by content. I mean the code. Second, we'll create a sam simple Python application. And uh, that's what I said, right? You need to have a very little understanding of Python. If you do not have, I think this would be much more of a self explanatory. I would be explaining this script. All right. The third one would be test the web application in cloud shell. So we're going to test this in the Google cloud shell. There is an option for that. We're going to do that. We're going to define our Docker build. So people who have an idea of how Docker works, we're going to define a Docker build over here because we're going to uh, we're going to use Docker in this project a bit of it. If you do not have an idea, I'll uh, uh, I'll try to create a content for that as well a bit so that you have an uh, you do not uh, lose the context of the of the project. Then we're going to move to manage Docker images with cloud build and container registry. So we're going to cover that as well in this project. The sixth task or the sixth objective is to automate build with triggers. So we're going to automate build because that's what we do as a DevOps. We automate stuff and we're going to deliver uh, things by using automation, most of it. So that's why we're going to take the step automate build with triggers. The next step we're going to take is test the build changes. So once the build is completed, we are going to test those changes and how the application looks like, how does it run, how the deployment happens and that's all. So the last step is to learn the process. So this is what we're going to do in this whole in this whole of a whole of project. And uh, I'll repeat it. We're going to create a Git repository. We're going to create a simple Python application, test the web application in cloud shell. We're going to define a Docker build, then manage Docker images with cloud build and container registry, automate build with triggers, test the build changes. And throughout this, we're going to learn the process. All right. So this that would be all for this video. In the next video, we're going to do the hands on part and we'll start learning. All right. So uh, feel free to comment down if you need anything. In specific, comment down in the comment section and we're going to address that. So thanks guys and I'll see you in the next one.